Think that as the game went on, I was joking around with him. You know, ball started to go in. Uh, he's playing good defense. You know, we got out of that tight, tight hole or, or tight, tight uh, game that we were in at half. And um, you know, nerves weren't really there anymore. Were you surprised that they came out and kind of made things a little bit interesting in the second half? Uh, not really. I know KP uh, instills that you know dog fight, dog mentality in everybody. So uh, you know, just based off of last year. And um, I, I kind of knew there wasn't going to be really an easy one. I knew there was there was going to be a dog fight at the end of the day. I tried to tell everybody before the game too. And, I mean, we we caught on at halftime and we, we fought back. What did Armando say to you at the free throw line when uh, you had the M one? He came out. He said a long congratulations. <laughs> what, can you tell us anything? Yeah, he was saying that uh, he was too little. They were just saying that uh, I got to got to destroy him every time, bully him every time. What have you learned from him in your time here? Yeah. Uh, mm, a whole lot. <laughs> how to be gritty down there, how to bully everybody. And, uh, you know, I think that um, I, I take a little bit of footwork from him as well. I think that um, he's, he's really good at, you know, getting position on for rebound. And I think I, I take a little bit from that. It seemed like you were getting aggressive, drawing fouls. Was that kind of the mindset to the second half for you? Yeah, for sure. I think that, um, you know, with my athleticism, my ability to get to the rim or, or finish, you know, make athletic plays, I think that uh, that's, that's really high. Um, I think that I really was focusing in on that in the second half. I'm sure you've probably already answered it once at least, but uh, was it was this just another game or was this something special for you to do that against those guys? Uh, it was definitely special. Um, I think that um, it was great not only to have a, my first double-double as a, a Tar Heel, but, uh, you know, to have that against my previous team, the Cardinals. So I, I think that uh, that alone say, says it all. <laughs> you had 24 minutes, I think, in this one. I mean, what's it like getting that many minutes in this one? Um, you know, is that something you think it's – you had more time because it's Louisville, because you're able to take it to another level, or do you think you've – kind of moved up in terms of how you play uh, currently? That question I cannot ask. I think that's a Hubert Davis question right there. But um, I think that uh, it was a little bit of both probably, in my opinion. I think that uh, not only because it was my alma mater, but as well as, um, you know, I was playing pretty good today. So did, I think that, uh, that that gave me those minutes. Did you have any kind of conversation with him before, or any of the coaches before a game like this? I'm sure it's a difficult thing to do playing an old team. Uh, not really. I mean, I approach the game is the, the same as, as all of them. I uh, think that uh, Sean May was probably in my ear the most, though. He was telling me, uh, I need a big game from you. need you to uh, really go crazy against your old school. You had you played well against Syracuse over the weekend. You got 10 points against them now, double-double tonight. Do you feel like you've reached that comfort level where this can happen any night for you now? Um, I think with me playing with that much activity, I think that, yeah, it's definitely possible. I think that uh, more is definitely – more definitely is it could be done, but um, I think that that's still just we need to get more, more and more comfortable out there. Do you have any interesting banter, banter with your former teammates on the court? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I made one free throw, and Mike James got to talking to me, asking about uh, a place that we used to go eat food at, uh, I think it was El Nepal or something like that. I had the free throw, and I ended up missing the second one. Got me a little <laughs> sidetracked. <laughs> Would you say the name of that spot was? El Nepal. Okay. It was a uh, Mexican food spot. Got uh, some really good, really good uh, <laughs> chicken tacos for sure. But did you talk back to him when he said that? Nah, I mean, I missed it. I was like, dang, I couldn't really say too much. <laughs> couldn't really talk too much trash. Uh, was there any, uh, did any of those guys reach out to you before the game, like in the you know, past couple of days? Um, no, nah, not specifically. Uh, I think that uh, after they finished their shoot around, I was in the building and I ended up uh, catching up with everybody though for sure. before the game. For sure. And then uh, I know earlier this season you talked, you know, talked a little bit about you know adjusting to a new place, adjusting to a new role, things like that. Who are who have been kind of some of the people helping you do so? You know, gain that comfortability, whether it's on the board or just whatever. Who have been some of the people kind of you know helping you as you kind of you know, go along with your team? I would say not only the starters, but uh, as well as um, everybody that comes off the, the bench. I mean, like. Everybody's getting more and more comfortable with everybody, and uh, I think that with me getting minutes or getting practice reps with the starting group, I think that they're gaining more trust with me in certain situations. Did you play some of the pod today? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, I played it before in my freshman year, so I mean, it's, it's not really too hard to bang down there, but uh, I think that um shows the versatility, honestly. Did you have, do you have a lot of family here today? Yeah, I had about nine people here. Is that yeah. bigger than normal for, for, for you for an average home game? Uh, 
I would say it would be up there. That, that was that's one of the highest numbers that I had. I think the highest was twelve, maybe uh, NC State. I want to say. Yeah, that was probably the highest. You feel like the team got comfortable after halftime, kind of let off the pedal a little bit. Mm, I wouldn't say comfortable, but I would say that uh, our approach kind of changed a little bit. I think that um, we weren't as aggressive. We weren't, you know, really honed in on defense, and uh, I think they, were, they started making plays. Was that a two seam or four seam pass ball that you threw to Armando? One more time. That ball you threw to Armando? Ah, yeah. See, <laughs> so so he 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 makes me feel confident in my passes because he said I wasn't on you. Now he was fouling me, which he did get fouled. So. I'm probably saying 14. <laughs>